And welcome, folks, back to the Raiders Super Fan Show on Fan Media Network. I'm Ken Thompson, SportsX Radio host, live here in Vegas on another victorious Raiders Sunday. My goodness, I'm actually a little bit relaxed tonight. I didn't have to sweat like the last game. I mean, it was kind of cool. 10-6 at halftime, but then watching the silver and black expand on the lead. How about five turnovers? How about four interceptions for our silver and black? My goodness. We talked about free agency last week. We had guys stepping up today. Kwiatkowski steps up nicely. How about Heath with two interceptions? Kwiatkowski got one. Oh, and Carl Nassib had the other. What a great day for the Raiders. They double up on the record. They pound the Broncos 37 to 12. They go to six and three on the season. Right now, sitting behind Kansas City by two games, Chiefs on a bye week sitting at 8-1. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that preview of that game a little bit later in the week right here on Fan Media Network as the Silver and Black will be hosting the Chiefs, trying for a sweep. And if you notice the way KC schedule's going, four wins, a loss to the Raiders. Four wins, and now a set update with the Raiders next Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. I'm with Captain Jack Rackham. I'm with the Violator, Violator 57, Raider Homer, not with us tonight. He'll be back and join us in the next week's videos. So, guys, just the three of us tonight, but you know what? On a victorious Sunday, first off, I got the great information from Raider Homer. He said, guys, just carry that Al Davis torch for me tonight. But, man, what a big victory. Let me throw it to the Violator. V, look, we don't get to relax during Raider games too often especially when we're getting a nice fat W by double digits. But this, a second half to remember. And this is huge because we played a great second half in Kansas City. This was probably our most complete second half because we scored in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. We put this game away and five turnovers to boot. Captain Jack, I know you're waiting on deck, but Violator, start us off. Break it down. What did V57 see today from the Silver and Black State? What's up, Ken, everybody out there? Listen. What we saw today was 60-minute football. We saw intensity. They got their swag back. You know, we're watching these young men mature right in front of us. Now, one of these weeks, that alpha dog is really going to step up and give a big howl and get everybody going. But they're beginning to hit people. There's no question about it. Captain Jack, going to throw it to you over there behind the ship's wheel. Look, I know even the captain's ticker had trouble last week in that game against the Chargers as we had to wait for that final play to be ruled correctly for the Raiders to go to 5-3. and three. But after a struggle in the first half and a 10-6 lead, I mean, good Lord, what a great third quarter. And then the fourth quarter, just put it away, baby. Just stepped on them while they're down. You know what? That's something that we haven't seen from the Raiders. When they get a lead, putting the other team away. Today, like Violator said, a complete 60-minute game, putting the other team away big time, 37-12. Captain Jack, you've got the uh, starboard aft. Uh, you got the- I'll take it! Don't worry about what side of this ship I'm on. Starboard port. Doesn't matter. We're full speed ahead, and we're going through the waters. The chop is down because... We are winning three straight. And like you said, we're set up with a game with the Kansas City Ketchup and Mustard Barbecue crew. Let's see what we can do. But I tell you what, today's game was awesome. It got a little bit testy in a while, a little bit of a flutter. But I tell you what, we stepped on their throats when we needed to. And we kept going and going. And I tell you, lots of positives. Jeff Heath, two picks. And... Wachowski with that wonderful pick. My God, he was like a ballerina out there with the way that he got that last pick. And my boy Carl Nassib from the Tampa area, I knew what he was going to do. Defense, defense, defense. And I'm happy to say that when we got a turnover on the fumble, they actually called it right. That's what made my heart stop, that they were almost about ready to mess us over with a call. I'm being kind with my words, Ken. I know that we have kids in the audience, but you know that I was feeling a little bit a flutter. We won. We won. We won. Lots of yardage. 200 yards rushing between Carr and my boy Jacob with two touchdowns and my boy Booker with two touchdowns. And you know this was such a great victory for Booker. You know he loved 
getting those two on his old boys. The Denver Donkeys! It was awesome. I'll sit back. That's why I'm not even on the ship wheel. It's it's sailing, sailing, very calm. There you go. Great stuff, Captain Jack. Real quick, let me throw it back to you, Violator, because Captain Jack talked about the running game. We talked about it last week. We saw Booker go around the right side against the Chargers for a touchdown. We saw him have a good, good solid uh, run in the second half to the left side against the Chargers. Today, we saw a lot of Booker, a lot of Jacobs, and both guys delivering. When you get over 200 yards rushing, you're going to win a lot of football games. And when you divide it up nicely between Jacobs and Booker and Derek did his small piece, he didn't stay in the pocket all the time. He ran four times. That's what we want from him. Times when we need him to run, go do it. But right now, we've got two guys in the backfield, and so we don't have to worry about Jacobs getting overworked. We know it's a long 16-game season. Right now, nine games in, sitting at six and three with a loaded backfield. Ken, let me tell you something. These guys need a con. They need a contract with J&B because that J&B connection that we got, brother, look, that's going to let every dog eat without wearing one out. You know what I mean? Because we're going to need them down the stretch, baby. Trust me, the games are going to get uglier and uglier. Today was a statement. That was a statement from that young team, brother. So proud of those guys, how they persevered and didn't take their foot off their neck. That's exactly right. And Trayvon Mullen back in the lineup, six solo tackles, had seven tackles right there near the top. But Nick Kwiatkowski had eight tackles, six solos, including the one-handed interception. That was the fourth off the young kid lock. So lock him up, throw him away. We'll see him the last game of the regular season. We'll go to the Mile High City just to cap off our regular season, probably for a better playoff position. Right now, we're going to... uh, end this one and we're going to come back at you later in the week as we preview the Kansas City Chiefs going to Allegiant Stadium. KC going to Vegas Sunday night football. We know the silver and black knows they have a big tall task ahead of them with KC. Best team in the AFC. But you know what? Right now we're the only team that beat them. Oh, and if we do it twice, how good are we? All right, going to do it for us live here. Raiders Super Fan Show on Fan Media Network. Folks, we'll be back later in the week to preview KC at Vegas. Guys, six and three. Just win, baby. Just win, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Get some. Victory Sunday. Yeah. To host a fan show or appear as a fan on a fan show, simply create a profile on Fan Media's iOS app or website. Select your teams and make a short intro video on your phone. Show hosts, reporters, former players, and superfans can use our Get Verified feature and make an intro video as well, and our mobile newsroom staff will reach out.